got this in pocket. I got that on. This slide summarizes what we'll be looking at. We'll be looking at three modes, Assist Control, SIMV, and CPAP. And as you can see, under Assist Control, there's two types of ending criteria. Uh, the thing that ends either a set volume or a set pressure. And the same for SIMV, there's two ending criteria, either a volume or pressure for SIMV. Okay, I have the ventilator set up on volume AC. Uh, I have a rate of 12, 500, 40% uh, plus 5 of PEEP, and then there's a PEEP flow of 60, and I have a test lung. I have a glove acting as a test lung here, doing that 12 breaths a minute. Now, there's really two types of breath, and the two types are, do you know what they are? This is, I'm going to make this simple. In fact, mode should be simple. It really is because everything is, uh, uh, there's really only three basic modes, but I'm not even talking about mode yet. I'm talking about type. Here, I'm going to show you. Let me go back to mode here. There's really only two types of breath. There's a volume, and the two types are, do you know what they are? And uh, that's for ventilator breaths. If the ventilator is delivering a breath, there's two types of ending criteria that you can choose. Which one do you think we choose most often? Volume or pressure? Well, it depends on where you work and what hospital you're in. Uh, in our hospital, volume ventilation or volume cycle ventilation, cycling is what ends the breath, volume cycling in, uh, ventilation is the most common. In other words, they choose a tidal volume for the patient and that is the criteria that ends the breath. In other words, uh, typically they might go by 10, mil, uh, 10 milliliters per kilo of body weight. So if you get a, a 70 kilogram man, uh, who then 70 kilos is his ideal body weight, then you might pick 700 cc tidal volume. So that's typically the ending criteria. And right now this ventilator is set on 500 so that uh, the breath is over when the 500 has been delivered to this system and then it uh, lets it escape. Now, uh, there's an exhalation valve inside the machine here, right inside, that holds the breath until the, uh, the tidal volume has been delivered. So it's called an exhalation valve, and it's kind of like what you see on your IPPB. It holds so that the pressure can build in the circuit while the 500 is being delivered. And then after the uh, 500... Our variations of those. Your, uh, cycling criteria turns it off. So I'm going to leave it on volume ventilation right now. Except. Okay. Now, now that you know type, ventilator breaths are two type. Volume and pressure. And I'm using volume right now. Now let's talk about modes. There's really only three modes. And everything else... Just Uh, the first mode is assist control. And assist control means that every single breath is assisted, uh, has the same termination criteria, every breath. Now there's two types of breaths in assist control. Do you know what they are? Spontaneous. Well, it's, we don't call it a spontaneous because the patient doesn't get to control the breath. So, uh, we call it, they're really, a, the name itself says what they are. They're assist and control. So in other words, a control breath is when? Okay, th this one's set at 12 breaths a minute. So about every five seconds, the ventilator should deliver a breath. Now I've got it set on 10, so now every 10 seconds or every 6 seconds, the ventilator should deliver a breath. That's the control breath. So really what happens if the patient wants an additional breath? Now let's imitate that. All right, here's the uh, assist breath, and the patient makes an effort. Now, how does the ventilator know that the patient's making effort? So here, when I squeeze it, squeeze, it delivers the tidal volume. So basically, in assist control, every breath has, as a termination criteria, uh, 60 the liters per stand, minute. Whether they start the breath or whether the machine says it's time for one because of the rate. That's the nature of assist control. Uh, all breaths are basically taken over and delivered. Patient does nothing, they'll get the set rate, which is 10. 
but they can breathe as frequently as they want. Every breath, the ventilator takes over and delivers 500 at, uh, right now I've got an And we kind of think of assist control as full support. Uh, on the 7200, they call assist control CMV. They don't use the term assist control. They just call it continuous mechanical ventilation. Okay? Now, I'm going to skip SIMV for a minute, which is the second of three modes. I'm going to skip it and go to CPAP. 